This is Dakar 2020 stage four, where millions of years of erosion have carved this desert landscape into the perfect battleground for the latest evolution of the world's greatest rally raid. And despite being dwarfed by the arid Saudi Arabian geology, the cars bravely enter into the unknown. Saudi's local hero is enjoying his home advantage this week. Yazid Al Raji started the day in fourth place overall, and while he's not totally matching the pace of the front runners, he certainly has them in his sights. Fourth quickest on the stage. But look, that's Fernando Alonso making himself a moving chicane, clearly going the wrong way and almost spoiling the party for Yazid. The F1 and Le Mans champ also found himself getting muscled out of the way here by Orlando Terranova, a real Dakar education for Alonso. The top three is a brilliant story and exactly the tasty battle of the legends we hoped for. Carlos Sainz started the day as rally leader, the mini buggy proving strong and fast, and despite a hiccup mid-stage, El Matador kept up the pace. But he was only third quickest at the end. We have ringside seats for a heavyweight battle and it's being played out in the most incredible canyons and wadis. Splitting the minis is reigning champ Nasser Al Atiyah. Brilliant to watch how he dances his Toyota Hilux over the rocky terrain and the sand in second overall, but the Qatari was penalized three minutes last night for failing to move out of the way of a charging science. So he has a deficit to make up. And he knows it. He takes nearly five minutes out of his Spanish rival, but he is no match for the stage winner. So how is French Dakar legend Stéphane Petterhansel coping, especially with new co-driver Paolo Fusa and pace notes in English? Well, as you can see, he gets seriously lost halfway through the stage again. But after that, he engaged full send mode and blitzed the second part of the special, rock and roll, snatching his first stage win of 2020 by a dominant 2 minutes 26 and he joins de Villiers as the first to win Dakar stages on three continents. We got lost once, we got a puncture, it was not the perfect stage, but it's not finished. At least it's good to win a stage. Carlos Sainz continues to lead Dakar 2020 with Nasser Al Atiyah hot on his heels, but Stefan Petterhansel makes steady progress up the leaderboard with that stage win. In the SSV class, Sergei Karyakin continues his consistent run. The Russian winner of the quads class in 2017 dropped about six and a half minutes today. He came fourth and lies fourth overall. Also a good day for young Polish driver Aaron Domzala. The stage one winner is well over three hours off the pace overall. But then again, this is his first experience of the SSVs. He's more accustomed to driving cars. He was second today, missing out on the stage win by just 19 seconds. Now, one man who has adapted brilliantly to the Dakar is Austin Jones. The 23-year-old American grabbing third place, and he's only seven and a half minutes off the overall lead on his debut. The Stars and Stripes enjoying a fine outing on stage four, because there was a brilliant stage victory for 22-year-old Mitchell Guthrie, who's doing wonders in his OT3. Good news for the team after Cyril Depre and Mike Horn were forced to abandon. Well, defending champion Chileco Lopez was hoping to imitate his compatriots Cornejo and Casale by giving Chile another stage win today, but he lost valuable time in the final section. After coming sixth, he slips down to second in the standings. Spain's Jose Antonio Hinojo now three minutes clear in the overall lead. <laughs> 